This is the base of the two posts. I thought to put a rod here to hold the tart. My first uh, thought was to use a screw like this. Eventually I, I feel that this screw is too small because I don't have long enough um, screw, not fully threaded screw like, like this one, but this is just 10 millimeters. So I thought to uh, cut a chunk from a long uh, thread rod and attach it uh, on top of this. So let's try. <laughs> Okay, eventually I purchased the right screw and it is much simpler. <laughs> Just cut uh, here and here. Well, the base will go here, but I realized that this could hit uh, the, the, le the, the chuck here. So, uh, because I'm, I'm lazy, I thought to flip uh, this around but uh, okay th that is ugly so i have to cut this away uh. And here I'm preparing the raising uh, to make a kind of mortar uh, that will help to dump the vibrations uh, transmitted through this, uh, this, this ring that we, it will become a cylinder. As you will see later, this mortar should have been pressed more. not be easy to extract this part uh, from the <laughs> this place once uh, the resin will be cured. Unfortunately I've made uh, a little bit too much uh, <laughs> resin. Alright, the moment of truth. Clean up this mess. Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> it's ah. everything together really hard. 
And now, what I can do... <laughs> it's... Ah, it's moving! Ah, yeah! <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's remove this first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Pool. Well, technically, uh, this could have been better. Uh, it is lightweight. But it, probably it works. And. Uh, it is not perfectly centered, but. Well, okay. That's uh, nice. Very well on the surface. Decently flat. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of resin here to seal this. Uh, this is horrible. I have to cut this uh, uh, this, this piece uh, of metal uh, to make uh, the top side of the tool, uh, tool post. This is uh, under head 15 millimeters wide, but uh, it is uh, a raw part. Uh, here is uh, is deformed, and uh, and I have to get rid of this part. But anyway, I, I need just uh, 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters, so. Uh, first, uh, I will cut this uh, by 90 degrees here uh, to clean up the, the, this, this edge and, uh, and then uh, I have to clean up even this edge and well, and cut out uh, two squares, uh, two squares of 80 by 80 millimeters and then uh, with this other all the piece of steel I will cut this is 60 millimeter by 60 millimeter by 20 millimeters uh, to get from this uh, a 50 by 50 millimeter square uh, with a height of 20 millimeters mm. let's get started and because this is larger than the uh, what, what this uh, benzo is able to cut uh, I have to find out a way to cut this uh, vertically maybe this way mm. yes. It's out of square of maybe maybe half a millimeter, <laughs> which is huge. <laughs> and this will be refined at the end of the, the minimum possible waste of metal. Uh, no, it is not possible to cut. Uh, it is too wide. No, I have to cut first uh, the eighty and then the and the sixty into steps. It doesn't reach at the end. <laughs> it was touching here. So, <laughs> for just uh, 10 millimeters. Okay, let's cut uh, on the other side. Be better, but yeah, cut here to get rid of this uh, this angle. Hmm. Interesting. 
not taking into account uh, this uh, uh, little uh, bump here and here it's not perfectly squared so <clears throat> I have an error of maybe uh, it's uh, about one millimeter <laughs> terrible I have to cut it again this side again and uh, cut this side uh, to to measure because then I have to make some holes uh, and uh, everything should be should stay in line I will glue with the super glue I will glue the two parts together so let's make some bores it's a boring job <laughs> I've already made uh, this uh, uh, center hole that um, all goes all the way to the, the material and uh, on the other piece the same hole in the center at the center now I make uh, a series of, of poles that uh, will uh, hold uh, the central block uh, through uh, a series of of, uh, of screws to have a consistency uh, between the two parts uh, the two parts are still glued together so let's make some holes one annoying thing of the grid press is that the swap are projected uh, everywhere in the room it is really annoying now since the uh, center hole is the same as the one used for the locating pin I use the locating pin the same locating pin to to center the block and with this spacer try to put this uh, at right angle The glue was not uh, yet uh, dried out. <laughs> no moment of truth. All right. This is harder. Holy moly! Uh oh <laughs> I have to hit up this Wow with a good hit of a hammer and a, a chisel the right spot did the trick <laughs> so start uh, slowly making the first turn making sure to stay at center at the center of the hole and then uh, turning the bottom plate the top plate and uh, the middle block the middle block the, uh, this way yeah. so we have the locating pin here and the pin is uh, flared here to accommodate the screw that will go here let's see better maybe and then we have the top plate all right 
Right, so very slightly at the beginning. Okay, that seems okay. Oh, oh. Ah. Fit perfectly. Okay, look, uh, the, 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 this part, it was a beautiful blue color. Uh, uh, okay, but it, it's awful now. <sighs> the, the colors uh, are, are not bad, but uh, it, it seems painted. At first, I, I, I tried to, to heat it up, this, to make it black. And um, but I heavily uh, underestimated the, the 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 mass of this of this piece of steel. At first, I, I tried to use the burner, but uh, then I have to turn to the cooking hob uh, in in the kitchen <laughs> to heat it up because it it requires a lot of heat. Quench, little quenching oil, uh, but uh, it had not enough oil. Went really hot. Uh, it, it was almost boiling, so it was not useful to quench. And uh, some sort of caramelized uh, on the surface of the of the metal, making this uh, strange uh, uh, effect. I made a hole. A hole of this. And this is how the nut went after welding, grinding and uh, blackening. This washes don't fit very well with the colors. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe I will make it black. Okay, let's mount uh, everything together and let's see how it looks uh, on the on the lathe. 